I had been mulling exactly how to mount the drives in this in this box, and I had originally intended just to get a piece of flat metal and form it around the size of a three and a half inch hard drive. But then it occurred to me that really the best way to do this would be to borrow this. Well, this is five, uh, five and a quarter, but to borrow the three and a half inch drive base out of a PC case. The thing is, I didn't really want to buy a PC case just to destroy it, and so I'd been looking for one in the trash pile. And I eventually, just like a couple of weeks ago, came across one that the neighbor who had was tossing this PC out had very kindly completely disassembled it. He didn't actually remove anything from the pile of stuff. It's just like he undid every single screw so I could look at his trash pile and pick up just this one piece, which is all I need. Now, it's uh, kind of a bullshit case, actually. This is looks like plastic, probably, on camera, but it's, in fact, steel as well. Um, the motherboard that was in it was uh, some dual-core Intel thing. It wasn't ancient, but it wasn't new either. And this segment is held together entirely by blind rivets, so we'll drill them out, and we'll have the piece we need. One... quite difficult to get off. I need some pliers to get those off this drill bit. Alright, let's read up the bottom part of it. There we go. And now how do we get into the important part of it? Let's see, I guess we'll just have to take the whole thing to bits, won't we? Uh, yeah, that's riveted on there. Mm-hmm. As it turns out, the by the way, the reason that I'm salvaging more than you might think that I would want to is that the uh, two halves of the three and a half inch bay uh, holder they're not held together, it's not a separate piece, it's held together by the bottom of the five and a quarter inch bay as well. So at the very least I'm going to use this piece of metal as a template for uh, making screw holes in the housing that I actually wind up using. What I was battling with that rivet is that the rivet was spinning and I wasn't actually chewing into it. freed up that entire assembly there, and the rest of this is of course just trash. Let's see. Nope, still held by something. Maybe it's... Yeah. So that's annoying. It's held at the top here underneath this black piece of metal, so I'm going to have to get this black piece off as well, which is a lot of rivets. Unfortunately, this piece is held on by one, two, three, another three rivets on each side, as well as the ones on the end. And I'm hoping that I can cheat this a bit and just bend this up to get at the section that I need to get at, because I'm really not interested in anything else from this piece of equipment.
Okay. Yes? Maybe? Okay. And, ah, excellent. All right, so this is the piece I actually want. Or to be exact, this is the piece that I actually want. And as you can see, it's riveted in the bottom of the five and a quarter inch bay. And this structure that you see here, by the way, with all of the drill holes conveniently made and these folds, which give considerable strength to it over just a flat piece of steel, these are exactly the reasons why I wanted to use a prefab piece rather than rolling my own. Uh, it really does save a lot of work and a lot of frustration. Okay, so that's that. And I can now tussle this piece of trash downstairs and throw it away. We'll just very quickly have another look at the Mac internal chassis. And we'll decide where we're going to put this. And I am not quite in luck. I was kind of hoping that some of the screw holes here would line up. They do not. So as you can as you can judge from the the height of this housing, we'll just put the front there so that you have an idea of it. Uh, there's plenty of room to put in all of these three and a half inch bays. There will be no need for that many drives in the system. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bays, which is would require some ungodly huge power supply, if nothing else. So definitely won't need those. But You'll see, the, uh, probably the best place to put it will be here. Just somewhere where I can get enough meat on both ends to, uh, to hold it down securely. I will not rivet it, I will use uh, nuts, bolts and nuts with lock washers um, so that I can disassemble it again if I need to. But uh, I think things are starting to take shape.